Hi, everybody, and Merry Christmas. You're probably thinking, hey, Christmas was a few days ago. Mm -mm. Well, yes, it was, but it's still the Christmas season, right? And also right now, it's New Year's Eve, Eve. That's very That's exciting. exciting. It's very oh, exciting. It's Christmas Eve, Eve. Now it's New Year's Eve, Eve. Welcome to Celebrate Wonder, everybody. I'm Reverend Meredith Brown. I'm our lead pastor at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. And this is Miss Laurie, our director of children and youth ministries. And of course, La the Lamb and Mortimer the Reindeer in our after Christmas, but in the Christmas season, Celebrate Wonder. We hope that you are having some wonderful celebrations, some rest and relaxation with your family, that you're enjoying all of that and getting ready for the new year. But we also want to remind you to read your Bible story this week. Use your uh, kit that you have with your art projects and your activities together. Our Bible story for this week continues the Christmas story. So it's Luke chapter two, verses eight through 20, when the shepherds hear about Jesus being born. So you don't want to miss reading that. And then we wow. want to stick around for just a minute here to be able to watch the Bible story video and sing the joy song that goes with um, our learning for this wonderful Christmas season. I'm so excited. What are you doing to get ready for new year, Miss Laurie? Oh, probably more cooking. Mm-hmm. Lots of fun foods. That's what happens at our house too. We have a tradition of eating black eyed peas on New Year. So I have to get my black eyed mm -hmm. peas recipe out and get ready for making those. And probably some football. That sounds good to me. Well, when yeah. we get back together next week, it will be our celebration of Epiphany with the wise men. And we're going to have all of that. So exciting. But until then, enjoy your, the rest of your Christmas season. And remember to stick around for the uh, Bible video and the song. And we'll see you next week. Merry Christmas. Bye, guys. Hey there, it's Abigail. What would you do if an angel showed up? I think I might be scared, just like the shepherds in today's story. In our scripture, an angel appears to a group of shepherds. The angel tells them not to be afraid because the angel had good news. The shepherds are told that Jesus had been born. They are given instructions on where to find him and are told that he will be wrapped up snugly and lying in a manger. This was joyful news. Now, let me explain something. Shepherds were not powerful people, and a lot of people didn't like them. They were unlikely to receive big and important news, and were even more unlikely to be responsible for sharing it. But they were chosen by God to share this joy because God knew that they had an important role. God sees everyone as important and knows that each of us has something special to offer the world. We can all be used to spread joy. After the shepherds received the news, they went on a journey and found Jesus lying in the manger. Once they saw Jesus, they started to share the news with others. Joy is not something we keep to ourselves. It is meant to be shared. The shepherds were given joyous news so that others would know the awesome gift that had come to the world. When joy is shared, it multiplies. Think about it like this. Joy is like a snowball. A snowball starts out small, but when you roll it, it keeps collecting snow and grows bigger and bigger. This is joy. When we spread it, it grows and more people get to share it. The shepherds did that and we can do it too. Now it's your turn to wonder. to be afraid You say Stand up Look around So 
much good news everywhere and oh it's such a beautiful 